Hello and welcome to my channel. Um, recently I've been re feeling very motivated and uh, looking forward to the release of this game. Uh, if you don't know me, I do mostly Gran Turismo content. Before Gran Turismo Sport, I did that in German. And uh, when Gran, Gran Turismo 7 came out, uh, I started playing that one, of course. And uh, yeah, so I've been feeling, Welcome I've been back. wanting Welcome to play to this game as soon as I can. And um, of course, as a German, I picked the best team on the grid, which is obviously Haas. <coughs> Um, yeah, but I picked Haas and um, yeah, Hülkenberg as a driver in this uh, custom single race. Yesterday I also started playing the career mode, but yeah, I wanted to do this here first, upload this here first, um, also to kind of release a video of my experience uh, on the game. And also kind of do a <coughs> prediction on the result of the Canadian Grand Prix, Grand Prix, which is coming up soon. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Leclerc, Sainz, Russell, and as you could already see, the qualifying didn't go too well. I have the same difficulty setting in the qualifying and in the race. But Magnuson. for some reason, I don't want to spoil Sergeant. too much, but Ricardo the players were not as strong in the race as in the qualifying. These talented drivers will come out on top today. <coughs> and I also had to learn the track again. Today, <laughs> a man who I'm always pleased to see join me in the commentary box, <coughs> Anthony Davidson. I know what we've got to do before the start. Also, the handling is quite different from the handling in Gran Turismo. Well, for them, you know, you've got your pre-race rituals that you go through. You see different drivers uh, that, you know, some have got their headphones on, they're listening to the music. Some drivers really absorb the energy from the crowd and they're there waving to them. Other drivers, they go within themselves. They chat to their engineers, absorbing that information, that vital information that you need to carry you through the race. And, you know, those pre-race rituals are essential to making things systematic. Okay, okay. We do a lot of Grand Prix in a season. And the more systematic you can be, the easier you are within that environment. Yeah, with that, with these uh, information, uh, the quiz, important inf pieces of before. information. Can make up a few that start. Uh, we can finally start. And let's see how how this one goes. I already know, of course. <laughs> so it's, uh, since I'm doing the commenting. Uh, after the fact. And... Yeah. <clears throat> well, I, I decided to make use of the... <laughs> of the recover from replay function. And uh, I, I will be doing some Formula 24 content on this channel from now on as well, uh, as of this video. But let's enjoy these pictures now and the first impressions of the latest F1 game. Okay, be careful with the front wing, you've taken some minor damage. Yeah, already damaging my front wing. But as long as it's not too bad, I thought I'll just uh, wing it. <laughs> that pun really just came, just popped into my mind when I was talking. Front <laughs> wings damaged. Expects a lot of understeer unless we replace it. Yeah, well, I don't want to replace it in a five-lap uh, race. <laughs> But yeah, I, I kind of like the the Haas team. 
I mean, from very shallow uh, grounds, like the color, the design of the car, uh, but also a little deeper, like uh, they had and have a German driver. Um, it's an American team, and I have had some connections with the United States as well. So it just kind of fits overall. I've been already a little bit better um, in the race than in the qualifying because more experience on the track of course but still it's not uh, ideal yet. <laughs> Also, I kind of like it to be a realistic result, but um, I won't force it. Like, I think if I'm, if I'll be too bad or too good, I'll still uh, let that uh, result uh, stay. Yeah, as I already said, the handling is different from Gran Turismo 7, so if you're a Gran Turismo 7 viewer, either on my channel or not, um, you have to adapt to the different handling, obviously. Yesterday, I mean, I've also played F1 2020, 2019 and 18 as well, I think. It was at least two more, I think. Oh, that was a close call. And damaging the front wing a little more again, I think. Yeah, but as, as I said, um, played some F1 games before. From, from you know, this producer. Even before, then years ago, I played Grand Prix 2 and I think also 3 or, f or 4. And F1, well, what was it called? F1 Racing? something and uh, from psychosis I think uh, it was the, there was an F1 game or some F1 games as well in the 90s at the end of the 90s and maybe also early 2000s but yeah so I um, got some uh, F1 experience <laughs> um, but anyway um, so I was, at least from this producer, I was already a little accustomed to the handling, but haven't, or haven't, hadn't played in a while. Um, the, at the beginning, the, uh, yesterday, not in this race, the only driving aids I used, or aid or, that I used was the anti-blocking system of the tires, like when you brake, but no traction control or anything else other than oh yeah um, gear suggestions <coughs> but uh, over the course of the evening yesterday I realized I needed some traction control at least for the moment because it's a lot you know the different handling uh, getting the right gears the ra right braking points a feeling how to control the car and if, if you don't have a traction control system not um, accelerating too strong so yeah that's why I decided to use partial traction control in this race um, if you're new to the game I would also recommend that I think at least partial traction control keep on him he might make a mistake and yeah, <laughs> with all this talking, uh, we are already in the final lap. Oh, that I overshot there. But as you can see, I completely lo had lost my front wing at that moment, <laughs> which I hadn't even realized at that time. Only after the race, when I first saw the replay.
and uh, of course a very fair overtake here. I'm pretty happy with that from my point of view. I was pretty clean and I drove, I drove well, I think. Absolutely, as Nico Hülkenberg says. Also, we are driver of the day. <laughs> Very, very clean, very good, and also very fair. Sorry, there was actually was a real curve. <laughs> well but yeah, of course it wasn't, but yeah. the team and anyway. Come up with the right solution at the right time. Ferrari are at it again. An excellent performance at today's Grand Prix, and they're certainly a team that know what they're doing out there. Are they finished talking? Uh, I think so. So, if you kind of enjoyed this, or really <laughs> enjoyed this, uh, please consider giving a like and subscribing. Uh, as I said, I also do other content. Mostly Gran Turismo 7 at the moment, but yeah, I, I'm I'm in, I intend to do more F1 and get GT7 as well. Not all of my videos are commented, but some will definitely be like this one. Have a good day. Uh, thank you and goodbye. It's been an absolutely wild weekend of Formula One action. I can't wait to see what's next.